Alrighty. So welcome down a little rendition of outdoor lifting. I'm gonna do this because I'm not sure if I'm gonna to get to the gym in time. But uh, I still might be able to, but I'm gonna start with some varied exercises. We'll start with uh, bicep curls. And I just need to move them around so I can mow around them. So, nice warm up. And I really like the way the workouts have been going this month. Starting to feel my, my strength returning. It's been a battle. I'll, I'll say it's been a three year battle. But uh, hopefully, I am on the road back to 480. Today, I'm just going to do some mixes, kind of play around with both uh, curls. And I'll probably mess around with shrugs just because I got to move the dumbbells anyway. I'll start with 60. Ah. And these work your pretty muscles. Now, traps are good for carrying things, but they do look good on the beach. And I tend to like when I work them pretty heavy to have it in a while but I'm going to try to get back to that it's like I don't know I don't know I don't know where I'm going to go when the volcano blows <sighs> then you can kind of finish up with like farmer walk walking around, walking around and let's drop real weight and it's a beautiful day about 74, maybe 75 out right now. Nice breeze. Makes it pretty easy to, to work out in weather like this. So I may still go to the gym. My son gets back here in time. And I do like the machines they have there. But until then, I've got time. Let's work out. Remember, hydrate is a key. You want to be drinking water all the time. We have a glass of water in the kitchen, so I'm going to go back to that. Get my drink of water, walk back. Be time for another set. So I'm also, you know, going to kind of toss some of the weights around. Because i got to get them away from where I need to mow. So like, here's some. <laughs> 20 pound dumbbells. And they're good for uh, like shoulder exercises. ideas is just exercise fit it in when you can even a, a light workout is good for you anything that's going to get your heart rate up you know cause you to breathe heavy get the blood flowing throughout all parts of your body working those joints so they don't stiffen up you know I've got a issue with my left leg left foot it's really stiff and I, I have to walk it out. And I think my workwear 
is, is responsible for it and they keep changing boots and that and you know but it's gonna make it hard to throw a discus but I think uh, this weekend the boy and I'll maybe do a session and I'll see how it goes I probably won't do any senior Olympics until September which is Illinois I'm going to concentrate really more on my uh, getting my 480 bench back. I think that's really where my my goal is. So here's a 70 pound dumbbell. Ah. The same thing. It's the I call them, I don't know. Beats me. Search me. But it's good for your traps, which makes you look good in a shirt, let's be honest with you. And carrying groceries, carrying softener salt, carrying everything heavy. It helps support your shoulders. <sighs> Woo! Good stuff. The time. More hydration. Go back to grab some of these loose weights and head out the bow. These are really light weights. Only five on each side, so 10 pounds. And these are good for the small shoulder exercise. So I call them field goals. And this is what helps keep your rotator cuff protected. So now we're going to work on the small supporting muscles that keep the rotator cuff where it's supposed to be. So that's just the big lifts, but it's also the small lifts, which are important. And those will lead to healthy shoulders you know I get comments from people that just don't know any better or, you know they're gym goers but they're not heavy lifters or they're just afraid of injuries and that and I'll bench those big weights and oh you know blow your shoulder out seriously I've been doing it for 50 years the only times I injured my shoulders was doing something that wasn't lifting or lifting weights most of the time so you can you can lift any way you want but I'm not gonna lift scared I'm not gonna be scared to challenge myself now that's not saying I'm to go out and do something stupid all right you have to know what your capabilities are and and when you do test them you test them in small steps it's not like all of a sudden oh, I want to see if I can military press 315 because I know that's not happening and you're asking for an injury but I might go after 230 it's only five pounds more than what I've already done so you're not really risking anything so you can lift smart but you don't have to lift scared and I think a lot of people are scared they see some really scary videos out there of you know people tearing themselves but they're going to the extreme all right I'm going within my ability I know where my ability is I developed it over five decades all right and I'm going to com com continue to develop it as long as I can so well as all you know blow your rotator cuff and out like that if that was going to happen it would have happened decades ago so don't be afraid to lift Pay attention to your body. Soreness is good. Sharp pains or a lot of tension in the joints are not. <laughs> so generally, Three sets are 
sufficient to really uh, work that, uh, that, that muscle growth. And sometimes you'll do maybe three sets of three different exercises. But what I'll do a lot of times is I'll do nine sets of the same one, but I'll keep going up the tree. And it's just, I'm, I see what really works well for me. We're all built different. I got very long arms. From here to here is very long. Here to here is probably normal. You know, so I find exercises that I get a lot of good results from. Remember, every exercise is good for you. Just because somebody says, well, this is what I do, that's great. It's what they prefer, and there's nothing wrong with that, but they should say that. When they say, don't do this exercise, that's an opinion. All right. But I say, this is the exercises I find are helpful for me. But there are a lot of different variations. A lot of different ways to get the same results. Do what's good for you. And I got my 80 pounder. Woo! Voilà. That's a good set. I think I will have time to hit the gym for arms, or I'll probably work my two favorite machines, because we always have to have a full stack attack. So remember, rest, nutrition, proper exercise, have fun in the outdoors, walk in the sun, and constantly be at it. And don't discourage, don't be discouraged because you have a bad day. We all do. And if you if you stop lifting for a couple weeks. Don't let that be your excuse not to get back to it. Everybody, have a wonderful week.